the northern end, Michigan, Ohio, or wherever they're from. We we'll ask them to come and give us a A selection. Absolutely. And we're asking Sister Frances Smith and Sister Rita Adams if they will come to the pulpit, please. And Sister Sharon Thomas. tonight. And truly, this is a great, great district meeting. You know, and I thank the Lord for just letting us be a part of this great family. You know, my soul is feeling very good tonight. You know, and I don't know what we're going to sing, but whatever. Amen. We're going to ask Sister Gabby to just sing. We want to walk and talk with Jesus each and every day. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
number that come from the group from the northern end. It's a blessing to have all of them from every one of the districts, I believe, one, two, three, four. Come from all four districts being in our midst tonight. So we're glad to have you in the city with us tonight. The Lord has been blessing us. Did you enjoy the message coming? The Lord, as he talked to us through Sister Ross. We thank the Lord for her again tonight. Right here we have our national mother in our midst tonight. And I'm sure you're waiting to hear something from her. We will ask you right now to stand on your feet again. Let us say thanks to the Lord. The next night, the apostle preached, 
And he said, he said, last night, the Lord told me to open up the door. And he said, he told me to open up the door and, and, and let whosoever will come in. And he said, I didn't do it last night. He said, but I'm going to open that door here tonight. He said, I told the Lord, I promised the Lord, if he'd give me another chance, that I'll step out there and open that door that somebody can walk in. And you know, he preached, glory to God, what must I do to be saved? Hallelujah. I believe somebody's here tonight to witness that. Glory to God, what must I do to be saved? And he opened the door. And some of you walked out. Amen. Many walked out in the name of the Lord. Amen. And the gospel was established right here in Meridian, Mississippi. Amen. It took faith. Amen. We can see faith working in the men of God. Amen. 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 And we honor, I honor such great men. I honor the apostle Amen. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I honor Bishop Sears. Amen. Amen. The man that, that, that labored uh, here in this territory, yes. preaching what he believed, yes. amen, being led of the Holy Ghost, yes. having faith and confidence yes. in, in the Lord, yes. in the gospel that was preached yes. down in his heart. Yes. And I honor the other bishops tonight, yes. Bishop Rice, yes. Bishop Rawls, Bishop Durham, yes. greatly honor them tonight for yes. the great yes. word of God. Yes that's coming to us from the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And we know that they are vessels of God. Yes. And they are pouring it out yes. into every believing heart. Yes. Lord God Almighty, are you a believer tonight? Yes. I'm a believer. Yes. Glory, hallelujah. But you know I'm like Sister Ross and Lord. Yes. Amen. When you, when you know, I've said it so many times. I'm a believer. Yes. I've said it so many times. Yes. I'm a believer, Lord. Yes. But Lord, to Tonight, you have thou my unbelief. Because you see me, Lord. You know more about me than I know about myself. So, Lord, you have thou my unbelief. Lord God Almighty, I want you to work on it tonight. I want you to work on it. Glory, hallelujah. Because, Lord, I want to be a witness, Father. I want to be a witness in the Holy Ghost. Praise his wonderful name. I give honor to Bishop Martin and Bishop Martin again and Bishop Evans and Bishop Williamson and all the, the, the bishops' wives and amen. companions and families. And amen to uh, uh, district supervisor, Sister Sears, amen. and then Sister Rawls that brought such a wonderful message. Amen. And I heard the Lord. I heard the Lord tonight. I didn't hear Sister Rawls. I heard the Lord. He spoke to me. He just used her body, but he spoke to me. Glory, hallelujah. And I'm here tonight, amen, and when she was talking about it, without faith, it's impossible to please God. And I stood out, amen, when they called me and said to be speak tonight. And I knew it had to be by faith. Glory, hallelujah, because it's not within me. It's not in the flesh. Lord God Almighty, in my flesh dwell no good thing. Hallelujah. I don't have the know-how. I don't know how to do it. But he know how. Lord God Almighty, praise his wonderful name. Sister Green, my sister, Sister Rice, we're just so happy to be in their presence. And all the elders and uh, evangelists. Man and deacons and praying women, yeah. local supervisors, and you that came from far and near, yeah. it's good to be in your presence yeah. again yeah. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. And you know, it's just something about look like uh, since Bishop Council, it's just look like when the Lord bless us to get together again. It's just something about hallelujah, praise the Lord, glory to his name. You're talking about look like we just appreciate one another so much. It's just good to be in one another's presence. Lifting up the name of Jesus, lifting up our Lord and our Savior. Truly the Lord talked to us today. Oh my, did he talk to you? know, he just put everything in focus. The Lord did this. He put in things in focus where we could understand yeah. what's been happening to us. Yeah. And there are 
things been happening to us since yeah. Bishop Council. Yeah. Amen. It looked like in the Bishop Council that they turned the key in the lock and it locked a lot, unlocked a lot of things yeah. that was going on on the inside of us. Yeah. And I believe, I just believe in my heart that a lot of us said yes to God. Yeah. I said yes. Yeah. Did you say yes to him? Yeah. Lord God of my Hallelujah, and you know, in saying yes to the Lord, Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, he, he's working, he's doing great things, amen, down within the soul of man, hallelujah. The Lord talked to us so greatly today, and I desire you, you to pray with me tonight. I don't have anything prefixed. I, amen. I told the Lord I didn't even take my Bible home. I found nothing but the, what the Holy Ghost gives. And I want the Holy Ghost tonight. I, I want him to use me. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Now, you know, I want you to see Mother Faith. I want you to see the Lord. So you pray with me tonight. Amen. In the lesson that the Lord brought to us, such great words of life, in the year that King Uzzah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. I have another scripture that I would like for you to turn with me tonight, and it's found in the book of Philippians, the second chapter, and we're going to read a, a few verses here. Praise this wonderful name. Amen. It's just so good to look on your face, all the children. Amen. Coming up to me, you know, and oh, so beautiful, beautiful. We have such beautiful children. Amen. And you are so beautiful. We're so blessed of the Lord. Oh, we're so blessed of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to his name. I would like for the usher to bring, bring me some water without ice, please. Just some plain old fashioned faucet water. Amen. Man, I tell you, the bishops, you know, and watching them and, and being taught of them, there's so much that we learn. Amen. You know, and I'm learning, you know, that the cold water, the ice water is not good for you, especially when it's so hot like it is now. But praise the Lord, hallelujah, we're learning. Amen. Aren't you glad Amen. that you can yet learn? Amen. Oh my God. Aren't you glad that Amen. you're not shut up? Amen. I'm so glad that I'm yet learning. Amen. Hallelujah. Can hear the Lord speak. Amen. Amen. And can say yes to his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. In the book of Philippians, Man, they talk about Jesus. This is in the second chapter of the book of Philippians. This is the Apostle Paul, and he he's talking about Jesus in the fifth verse. He said, "Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God." but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of me. And being humble in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, Amen. of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 This is a man that saw something. Amen. He saw Jesus. Amen. He saw a man that how his example, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. 
but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of me. You know, amen, we have examples in the church of being a servant. A lot of times in looking upon a servant, we have the wrong impression of what a servant is. We, a man many times have worked out and was a servant, and we didn't like the idea. It didn't have such a great reputation. We didn't like to tell anybody that our job was waiting on people, us being in service. And you'll see even today that it's hard to find people that are willing to be in service. Amen. Amen. We, the people are going after all uh, since the door has been opened that you can go out and, and go to school and learn to be whatever Amen. that you to desire to be. And, and we've gotten away from the very word of being a servant. Lord oh, God of mine. Amen. We don't like that word. Amen. A lot of times when you you, you hear uh, even young people, when uh, you can hear somebody telling them to do something, you go do this or you go do that. And, and they'll say, I'm not your servant. I'm not your servant. I don't have to do that. I'm not your servant. It's because of the picture that they have of what a servant is. If what they think a servant is, is like a slave that you're being forced to do. But you know, a servant, a man, this servant that we're talking about tonight, Jesus Christ, that was such a great example. A man that who, a man who made of himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. Now just look at who he was. Jesus Christ, the son of a living God. The son of God. Amen. But he had a purpose in life. In the purpose that God had for him, he couldn't come as a king. Amen. He couldn't, amen, to come as a king. Amen. Glory to God. Anybody would bow to him. To come as a king. Amen. Glory to God. You could see nations bow. But he came as a servant. But as a servant to do the will of his father. And you know, the scripture said he was found in fashion as a man, but he humbled himself and became obedient even unto death. Even the death of the cross. You know, tonight, glory to God, I pray God that you know the Lord will help me. Amen. You know, in the scripture where he says, in the year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord. And you know, the Lord was talking about in this year, in the year. Amen. Glory to God. We can point out this year. This year has been one of the greatest years of the Pentecostal Church of God. A lot of us are looking on what has happened. Amen. Since convocation, we're looking on and we're thinking that we've been robbed. That, amen, that, that you know, that we're being punished. That, amen, that something has been taken away from us. But it's not so. We can see that the Lord, amen, a lot of times he desires to grow. I can hear the scripture talk about growing in grace and in the knowledge in the knowledge of the Son of God. So, amen, I heard somebody say tonight that if we follow on, it takes following on to know the Lord. You can't just know the Lord in shouting. You can't just know the Lord in happiness. You can't just know the Lord in peace. But you have to know the Lord sometime in suffering, in sorrow, and in despair. Lord God of my You know, amen, this year, the things that have happened. Amen, glory to God many times. Amen, we've seen it, amen, happen over here. It happened over here. But it affected every one of us. A lot of times you think that 
that you was the only one affected, but you wasn't the only one affected. It affected every member of the Pentecost Church of God. And you know, glory to God, somewhere we had to believe. We had to believe. We had to have faith in God. Because the enemy always comes to show you the dark side. He never tried to show you, amen, what's more, amen, the joy. I can hear even in this scripture where he, he's talking about the joy that was set before him. Amen. Glory to God in going through death. The scripture said that was joy that was set before him. But to, to reach the joy, he had to endure the cross, despise in the shame. Oh, we want the joy. Oh, how much we want the joy. Glory, hallelujah. Many of us, amen, I've heard people say, I've come to this church because they are so friendly. They're so full of life. They're so full of joy. But glory to God, down the road of peace, you're going to see us as we are. You're going to see me as I am. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You, I, I won't always have the smile. Many times you might see me with the frown on my face. You're going to see me as I am. But if you're only here for the joy, Lord God Almighty, amen, as soon as the smile is gone, you're going to be gone too. But glory to God, amen, in this, since in this year, this is a year of joy. This is a year of peace. This is a year of happiness. We can see God is calling us up. He's calling us up into another place. He's calling us into another realm. A realm where we can have faith in him. Trust in him. Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Something about trusting in God. That he don't ever fail you. He'll never let you down. He'll never. We need to learn this. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. That my yoke is easy. Lord God Almighty, I've heard somebody said, the only time you, when we talk about the way is hard. I hear saints talk about, you know, it ain't easy. It's hard. Lord God Almighty. But the only time it's hard. It's when you don't want to do what he said. The only time it's hard. Jesus said, my yoke is easy. It's easy. And my burdens are light. Lord God Almighty here tonight. And he's talking about being fashioned as a man. Hallelujah. And glory to God, we can see him, a man being fashioned as a man. When we heard him, we heard him through a man. But somewhere we need to recognize his voice. I can hear the Lord to the, today. Amen. We've got to be got to look beyond the flesh. It's not the flesh that you hear. It's not the flesh. Glory to God. Amen. When you talk about you see God, it's not the flesh. It is God in the flesh. Glory, hallelujah. And I can hear the Lord talking and he said, Amen. That everyone that believes that Jesus Christ is manifest in the flesh is of God. Yes. We have to believe that God is in the flesh. Yes. He didn't say worship the flesh, but God is in the flesh. Yes. I heard him say in the scripture, God is in the flesh. Yes. Reconciling this world unto himself. Yes. God uses flesh. Yes. Glory to God. But hallelujah, when your eyes come open, hallelujah, you can pull back the flesh and you can see God. Yes. Lord God Almighty. Yes. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. I don't want to talk long here tonight. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God's name, but something has happened to me yes. and I want to testify. Yes. I want to testify. I want to be a witness yes. tonight yes. of his glory. Yes. Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah, talk about in the year. Amen, in the year, this is a year, amen, that we can all look back on. Amen, that we had scribes that was writing, writing of the goings on in the church. They would say that this is a notable year, a year of our Lord. The year, glory to God, that so many things happened. Glory, hallelujah. 
But glory to God, I can look at this like how I see a thing. Lord God of mine. That it's in the year. The in the year. Amen. Glory to God when the flesh of Bishop Sears went off the scene. That I saw the Lord. Lord God of mine. I saw the Lord. Lord God of mine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. It's something about, amen, this flesh. Amen. Many of you may not go through the wrestles of the flesh. You might not acknowledge it. You might not even recognize what's happening and how the flesh takes you through battles. How the flesh takes you through changes. How the flesh takes you through unbelief. How it can make an unbeliever out of you. Lord God Almighty. Amen. And many times in relying on the flesh. Glory to God, many times relying on our know-how, relying on what we are, or who we are, Lord God of mine. Amen, hallelujah, glory to God, wanting this to make a way for us. Amen, who we are, or what we are, or our know-how, or our positions in life. And you know, it's something about flesh. Flesh has a way of striving. It strives for mastery. It strives to be recognized. It strives to be heard. Lord God Almighty. It's something about flesh. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. That it want to be recognized. Amen. Many times you when 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 we're not heard. Glory to God, we'll say, well, you you, you got to hear me. Or when you're going to hear me. Don't I, don't what I say or what I think mean anything? Amen. Haven't you said it? Amen. Haven't we said it so many times? Amen. Haven't I said it? Amen. Don't my opinion mean anything? Amen. Lord God of mine. Amen. Don't what I believe mean anything? Amen. Lord God of mine. Hallelujah. It's, it, it is not the spirit talking. It's the flesh. Amen. Lord God of mine. Amen. How many times, amen, did we want our word? Or our thoughts to be exercised. Or it ought to be heard. Or put in its place. Lord God of mine. But you know, even this year, Lord God of mine, in the year that King Alza died. Lord God of mine. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. My eyes came open. Amen. Hallelujah. When God began to show me another glory, another place in Him. Glory, hallelujah. And it's, and it's so easy. It's so easy to attain. But it's a fight to get to. Lord God of mine. Amen. Glory to God. This writer. Amen. In, in the Apostle Paul. He was such a writer. He, amen. Glory to God. In the scriptures, he tell us about the fight that he had to fight. And he, he even told his son Timothy. He said, I fought a good fight, and I finished my course, and I kept the faith. And you know, when we hear such scriptures as this, we glory in Paul. We glory in him, amen, and we're not realizing what he's talking about. Not realizing the fight that he, glory to God, that that he had to go through. The Apostle Paul, he was a man. A man with great knowledge and great understanding. But I could hear him in the scripture talking, and he said it was a fight to him. And he said, but I fight to bring under my body under subjection. Amen. It's so easy when we can bring, come under. Hallelujah. This is the only thing we don't want to come under. Amen. It's there for us. But we have to come on. Yeah. Lord God Almighty. Yeah. I wonder if I'm saying anything yeah. here tonight. Glory to God. You can see, amen, flesh has to be submitted. Yeah. Flesh has to, glory to God, as long as you're your own man or your own woman, amen, and without submission, amen, God can't use that kind of flesh because, hallelujah, glory to God, it's flesh. That he has to own. He has to own us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We have to submit under the mighty hand of God. And I can hear the Apostle Paul talking about I'm fighting. I'm fighting to bring under 
under subjection, my body under subjection. I'm fighting. Glory to God. Amen. And many times in this fight, amen, I've had a fight down through the years. Glory to God, it's been 30 years since the Lord gave the apostles the gospel of the king. Amen. And it's been a fight. It's been a fight with the, the spirit and the flesh. Amen. Glory to God. Many times I heard Sister Rawls talking, amen, and you find yourself fighting somebody else. Fighting your brother. Fighting your sister. Glory to God. You think it's your sister. You think it's your brother. And it's your own sin. Lord God. The thing is within you. It's, amen. It's the mind you have. It's the flesh you have. It's things that's born in the flesh. It's things that's working in the flesh. Lord God Almighty. And it causes such a wrestle. That's what causes sleepless nights. This is what causes anguish. This is what causes despair. Lord God Almighty. I heard glory to God talking about Lord. Help thou my unbelief. When we really believe God. When we, we can turn everything over to Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, it don't have to be no more sleepless nights. It don't have to be no more despair. It can be faith. Faith works. Lord God Almighty, but it's our unbelief. But it's we wrestle with unbelief. Lord God Almighty, hallelujah. Oh, let's tell the truth to them. Let's, let's truth talk. Let's let truth talk. It's unbelief. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Weighing God's words by our tradition. Putting them on the scales of life. Weighing it to see do it well enough. Amen. Hallelujah. Do it way according to what we've been taught. Do it way according to what mama told me. Do it way, glory to God, enough according to what my teacher taught me in school. Do it way enough. Lord God of my Hallelujah. I wonder if I'm saying anything. But glory to God. Amen. You talk about the year that King Alba died. Lord God of I also saw the Lord. You know, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. As the Lord is beginning to work and show me myself. Hallelujah. And I begin to see the Lord. Amen. And he's in the flesh. God is in the flesh. I didn't see it. Amen. I don't see God in space. I don't see God. Amen. Hallelujah. In the cloud. I don't see God in the, amen. Glory to God. Amen. In, in, in the dreams of, of bishops. I don't see him in the gardens or the midnight hour. Amen. Glory to God. What we see is his manifestation. Lord God of mine. But to see God, hallelujah, it takes faith and confidence to see God. Amen. You got to have confidence. Amen. It's your faith. It's your faith. Amen. That lets you see God. Lord God of mine. I heard him say that the pure in heart, they shall see God. Glory. Hallelujah. And we can see him. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's a, he's, he's a preacher. Amen. You talk about knowing how to preach. He's a preacher tonight. Lord God Almighty. He was a teacher today. Amen. And he taught us. Amen. We heard him. We heard him when he spoke. And he taught us his word. <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God's great name. And I saw my flesh, I saw myself, and I saw a wretched man that I am. Who shall deliver me? Oh, wretched man, I see, I see where I am. I see where I, I, I'm standing. I see my hindrance, Lord God of mine. I see, amen, glory to God, the thing that's been holding me back. I see, glory to God, amen, hallelujah, he began to show me a joy. He began to show me a love, a love, glory to God, that cannot even be expressed in words. He showed me a place in him, but glory to God, I could hear him say, amen, even as I became a servant, you've got to become a servant also, Lord God, amen, hallelujah, to become a servant, 
Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Yielding ourselves. Mm -hmm. Submitting ourselves. Amen. Many times, glory to God, we sing the song and we say, I am thine, O Lord. I have heard thy voice. And you told your love to me, Lord God Almighty. And I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee. Glory to God. I am thine. How many times we say things like this? We I can hear Jesus talking in the scripture, and he said, You honor me with your lips. Lord God Almighty. Lord God Almighty. Oh, you sing it. You sing it. Amen. With your mouth. I am thine, O oh Lord. How many times have we said that? I am thine, O oh Lord. I am thine, O oh Lord. Lord God Almighty, we're only talking about this minute. I'm dying, oh Lord. But glory to God, it takes a submission to become here. We have to humble ourselves. Amen. We have to become servants. Servants willing to, to do the bidding of our master. Lord God of mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. When you talk about being a servant, we can hear the Lord talking about being a servant. Amen. And he said, becoming obedient. Obedient. Glory to God. I could hear the man of God when he was talking about submission, and he said, submission is obedience. Oh, God of mine. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. It's being obedient yes. to what God has said. Yes. It's being obedient to his word. Yes. Lord God Almighty said he become a servant, and he became obedient, even obedient unto the death of the cross. Yes. Lord God of mine. I could hear the Lord today talking about Amen. Hallelujah. That we don't want to suffer. You can see the flesh. Amen. Avoiding suffering in every kind of way. We're trying to avoid humiliation. We're trying to avoid suffering. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You don't see people that's willing to suffer anymore. Amen. We want a, a life of ease. We want to live a life of comfort. We want to live a life, glory to God, of no mistakes. We want to live a life with plenty of friends. Nobody talking about us. Doing what we want to do. Buy what we want to buy. Live what the way we want to live. But glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. It's suffering in this. Amen. Our example, glory to God, he had to suffer. Amen. He suffered for you and I. He suffered for my sin. He suffered for your sin. Lord God of mine. Amen. This was in his obedience. He had to suffer. Lord God of mine. And I can hear the Lord talking to us tonight. Amen. To amen. Hallelujah. For the Holy Ghost. For the Holy Ghost to have his way in us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Some prayer of the flesh. Glory to God. It's got to give up somewhere. The flesh has got to give up. And say, here I am, Lord. The flesh got to turn a loose. Yes, Lord. But as long as flesh you're satisfied with. As long as you get a satisfaction in the flesh. Glory to God. You might not ever want to turn it loose, but Lord God Almighty, there's a joy. There's a joy that's greater than any pleasure that this this flesh has to offer. There's a, a glory to God. There's a peace that's greater than any peace that this flesh can ever obtain. Yes, Lord, I can hear him talk about that joy. He said the joy that was set before him. I can see the saints of God getting a taste of that joy. You need a taste of it. The Holy Ghost to give you a taste of it. Yes, Lord. I can understand so well how the saints of God, how they can go to their death. Amen. Singing praises to God. Going to be executed. Going, hallelujah, to be crucified. Going, hallelujah, to get the head chopped off. Going, glory to God, to face the beast in the arena. They have seen the joy. They have felt the joy. They have seen something that was greater than this life could have afford. Yes, Lord. You talk 
talk about joy. Glory to God, my Amen. Hallelujah. My flesh have experienced many joy. I've experienced many happy days. I experienced many pleasures in life. I've experienced many highs. And I've experienced many lows. Glory to God, my But let me tell you something. There's a joy. There's a joy. There's a peace. Yes, Lord, when I realized uh, I was missing my blessing, I 
Thank you.